Hello friends, tonight we're going to take a look at the Griffin Micro Carry Compensator. Compensators are all the rage right now, and rightfully so. Uh, unless you're one of those idiots who will deny an advantage simply because you've never seen it before. Uh, you know those guys who will say, I, I shot fine without a compensator and dot for 20 years, why do I need to change? Well, because you should want to do better, you sad fool. Unless you're that person, you've probably been curious about comps, or used them, or bought and used several. Maybe you're carrying a gun with a compensator installed right now. Whatever your relationship to comps, they're becoming normal. A normal solution to one of the oldest problems in shooting. I'm sure our caveman ancestors sat around and said, me want shoot fast, but gun kick, make me shoot slow. And somebody thought, eh, well, what if you redirected the gas? The compensator takes the gases that push the muzzle upwards and then redirects them in an advantageous direction that keeps the muzzle flatter, allowing you to shoot faster. Personally, I love compensators, but I'll warn you, I'm not an expert, I just shoot guns. You'd be forgiven for looking at my gun right now and thinking, oh, that's a cool little weird thread protector you got on there, you fucking weirdo. You always have to do it differently, don't you? Yes, yes, I do, and, and yes, I am, and I'm sorry I do it that way. But this is not a thread protector. It's just the smallest compensator I've ever tried or seen, for that matter. I kind of purchased it out of frustration. I had multiple issues with another compensator I wanted to test, and I needed to stick something on the barrel while I sorted out that problem. A thread protector came first, and then I thought, what if I stuck that little comp on there and just left it as the thread protector? I figured, even if it doesn't do anything, I'd still protect my lovely new OEM threaded uh, one half by 28 barrel, and maybe it'd help me compensate for something. I checked, and it fits in all my holsters that work with threaded barrels, but not necessarily larger comps. So bam, I was impressed already right there because I didn't have to buy new holsters and I hadn't even shot it yet. Features. Griffin designed this comp to be very, very small, and it is. Here's a Glock thread protector for comparison. The Griffin is made of 17.4 stainless steel and the whole thing is nitrided. It looks great. These wrench flats look awesome and work well as wrench flats, so that's good. You put it on with a 16 millimeter wrench and it does not have to be indexed. However it goes on there is fine. Also, I'm gonna show you how to screw it on there. Why, I don't know, but I'm gonna show you all the same, just in case, you, you never know. Some of you might be just raging idiots or something, so I figured I'd, I'd help you out with that. So again, it doesn't have to be indexed. It doesn't matter which direction these ports are facing, just however it goes on there is, is totally fine. You can purchase the micro carry comp with one half by 28 threads like I have, or 13.5 by one left-handed threads. Griffin touts that the comp is only $65. That's cheap for a compensator, but seems a little high for a thread protector that has slats cut in it. However, I think the performance more than offsets the price. You're probably scratching your head at the idea of an OEM Glock one half by 28 threaded barrel. Yes, I'm serious. That is exactly what this is. And yes, it's awesome. It's a Gen 5 Marksman barrel threaded to our favorite American thread pitch. I really don't like that aftermarket barrels always have standard rifling. I much prefer polygonal rifling. Who the fuck are these people who are shooting cast lead bullets anyway? That's weird as hell. Nobody is actually doing that. It's really that people don't want to invest in whatever tooling is required to actually make polygonal rifling. And yeah, I know it's weird that I want those very marginal benefits from the polygonal rifling, but goddammit, I want them. So I'm going to find a polygonal rifled barrel, I said, and I was able to find this lovely OEM option. But more than that, the Marksman barrels are just really, really good barrels. And uh, if I'm going to test this gun, I wanted to continue to test it with an OEM Glock barrel just to make the testing fair. So how do you install the Microcom? Well, you get a wrench a 16 millimeter wrench, you get the gun and you get the compensator. You put them in the same location. Then you screw the compensator on, you face it the right direction, unless you're me and you're an idiot, then you try to start it the wrong direction. You screw the compensator on until it's hand tight. And then you're gonna snug it up with the wrench. Just snug it up. Doesn't have to be really tight. Just get the wrench on the flats and just snug it up like that and it's going to stay on there I, I loosened it prior to filming this video it has never worked itself loose eh, with all the shooting that i've done it's been completely secure i love it it's a remarkably good system and when i say snug i mean just snug don't sit there and fucking torque on it just get that wrench and just give it a good snug snug it like it's a beautiful fruit bat that's what you do don't snug it so hard that you that you hurt it just a little snug and now it's installed shoot the gun and enjoy how has the comp performed? 
when I bought the micro comp, I intended it to be a thread protector and I figured maybe it'll compensate a little, maybe it won't if it does that, but mostly just the thread protecting, I'd be a happy clam. Some compensators compensate the fuck out of the gun. They push the muzzle down like Russell Crowe pushes a hotel concierge. They just push the fucking thing right down. Others are quite gentle and don't feel like they do much of anything. Some are in between. The ones that really push the gun down are more likely to cause reliability issues because they interfere with the tilting barrel that nearly all modern guns use to operate. The compensators push down on the barrel whilst it wants to tilt up, and they're a big heavy weight hanging on the end of the gun. So you have to swap recoil springs and rarely other things too. I'm just not into all that. But I'm going to test some of those huge compensators too. However, the Griffin is an excellent reasonable choice for reasonable people. It fits in most holsters that will fit a threaded barrel and it isn't heavy. But how well does it actually compensate? Remarkably well, and that's why I've been reticent to replace it even though I have some other options to test. I'd say it reduces muzzle flip by about, I don't know, 25%. And I'm serious, this little doodad right here reduces the flippity flip that much. But it also only reduces it by that much, far less than the bigger compensators, some of which will, oh, they'll, they'll give you crazy numbers, like it reduces recoil by 40 or 50 or 60%. This definitely does not do that. But here's what it does do. The gun recoils and moves upward, and then you feel that weird spongy push that compensators give the recoil cycle, and then the gun moves back down and on target, and it just takes the edge off. It reduces the recoil just enough to be very helpful. I can shoot this gun noticeably faster, especially with hotter ammo, and of course that's the case. Hotter ammo produces more gas moving at a higher speed, which drives the muzzle down more. Also, with the Griffin, there isn't excessive blast. Not that there usually is with 9mm comps, but there is an increase in unpleasantness to the side of the gun most of the time, but not really with the Griffin. I don't really tell that anything's happening in the, in the blast department. I'm very impressed with that. But just as importantly, the function of the gun hasn't been impeded. I've had no malfunctions, the recoil cycle feels strong, I don't get the sense that it's right on the edge of reliability like some of those compensators where it just feels like the gun's just barely making it through. I think this is going to work just fine. Even in the very long term, I think you could just leave it attached and just use your gun normally and never have to think about it until you have to take it off to clean the gun. The performance has been very impressive for a tiny hunk of metal with slats cut in it. The only thing I'd change isn't a change as much as an addition. This works so well, why not make a slightly larger version that drives the muzzle down more? Maybe make it index somehow with washers and, and give it more effective ports that, that face uh, just upward. This idea is so good, I just want to see it taken further. Give me options. You maybe have a small, a medium, and then a slightly larger. And I know that would somewhat defeat the purpose of this compensator, but it would still be a slimmer, smaller option than most of what's on the market. Final thoughts. This is the best thread protector you can buy. Oh yeah, and it, it, it happens to also be a great compensator. If you have a 1 half by 28 9 millimeter barrel, why would you not install one of these? They don't alter reliability, they aren't heavy, and they fit the holster that fits your threaded barrel. So if you need to have a thread protector on your barrel when you're not using your suppressor, just stick one of these on there. Why the hell not? I only see benefits here. It's inexpensive at $65. It's also well made well-designed, and I don't really mind the cost with all of what you're getting here, even if it is just a tiny machined hunk of metal. It doesn't compensate nearly as much as larger and more expensive comps, but it's also incredibly small, and it, it's really just a way to add pluses with no minuses. It's the muzzle equivalent of talon grips or something. They don't hurt the gun or the holster or reliability. If you want to change the way the gun feels but don't want to stipple the gun, talon grips are a great way to do it. This is the talon grip for your muzzle. The Griffin Microcomp is one of the rare products that I can wholeheartedly recommend with no reservations whatsoever. I can't really find a single problem with it. No matter what you're doing, if you have a threaded 9mm barrel, you fucking might as well. Thanks for watching and I hope you all have a wonderful evening. I'll talk to you soon. Good night.